the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, may put a lander on Mars in 2021 or 2022 and send an orbiter to Venus shortly thereafter. The government has given us a go-ahead for the planning of the missions. ISRO Chairman A.S. Kiran Kumar in Bangalore. India was the first nation to successfully reach the Red Planet on its first attempt when the Mars Orbiter Mission, MOM, also known as Mangalyan, entered orbit in 2014. The spacecraft continues to beam data back to Mission Control in Bengaluru. One of its stunning images of Mars graced the cover of last November's issue of National Geographic. But the technology demonstrator, as ISRO calls MOM, has delivered only minimally on science expectations. Critics say, for example, its methane sensor apparently has failed to detect methane plumes in the Martian atmosphere. Mangalian was a marvel in engineering, but no exciting science came out of it, since the experiments and instruments themselves were mediocre, says URAO, chairman of ISRO Science Advisory Committee and a former ISRO chief. Small instruments give small science, he says. NASA is said to be in talks with ISRO for India's first Venus mission. The name of the Venus mission has been proposed as Chakrayan, Venus ship, but no confirmation has arrived from ISRO regarding the naming of the mission. Meanwhile, ISRO will also launch India's second Mars mission, which is scheduled for 2021 to 2022. In this second Mars mission, ISRO is planning to put a robot vehicle, rover, on the surface of Mars. Both French space agency and NASA are keen to partner with India for Mars's second mission. While India's first mission to Mars undertaken in 2013 was a purely Indian mission, the French space agency wants to collaborate in making the Mars rover. In fact on a visit to India this month, Michael M. Watkins, director of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of NASA, said they would be keen to at least put a telematics module so NASA's rovers and the Indian satellites are able to talk to each other. The second Indian mission to Mars is likely to be all about doing good science since the first one was a technology demonstrator. India's maiden mission to Venus is likely going to be a modest orbiter mission. Watkins said a mission to Venus is worthwhile as so little is understood about that planet and NASA would definitely be willing to partner in India's maiden voyage to it. Towards that, NASA and ISRO have already initiated talks this month on trying to jointly undertake studies on using electrical propulsion for powering this mission. Former ISRO Chairman K. Kasturirangan says, India should be part of this global adventure and exploring Venus and Mars is very worthwhile since humans definitely need another habitation beyond Earth.